Hey there, RVers. Today, we found out that tonight it's going to get close to freezing. How do you feel about that, Celine? I do not want to be in the cold. But thanks to the border closure, we don't really have a choice. So stuck up here in Canada, I mean, enjoying our time in Canada, although we would love to go south for the winter. We're going to be here a little while. So tonight, because it's going to get close to freezing, I'm going to show you how I'm preparing our trailer for snowmageddon. Let me just say that how I feel about living in our trailer in the winter is about how Ian's hair woke up this morning. I want to be in the winter, not going south for the winter. We're going to let him get a good snowfall in his system, and then we're hoping to go south as soon as the border opens. So before I go outside, I've started to bundle up. Got on a, a long sleeve shirt. I've got on pants, of course. And I've got on uh, flip flops. Cause I don't want to go out there and bare feet is too cold. Okay, so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is install this thing called a slunky, which basically uh, holds our sewer hose off the ground. So it's not making physical contact with the ground, so it's less likely to... So the three things that are most likely to freeze in an RV, number one, water coming in. So I gotta deal with that hose. Number two, water going out. So I have to deal with the sewer hose. And number three, the back of my legs when I crawl into bed and my wife sticks her freezing toes on. Fun fact, this is the first time I've used one of these sewer hose supports. It seems pretty straightforward. You put big end at one side and a little end at the other side and let gravity do its thing. So here's the before. See how the hose is laying on the ground? Need to get it off the ground so it's not touching the ground so that the water in the hose is less likely to freeze, in theory. Side note, some of you are questioning my decision to wear flip-flops in 53 degree weather. Listen, you treat your toes how you wanna treat your toes and I'll treat my toes how I wanna treat mine. Also, somebody else asked me, hey Adam, why didn't you do all this stuff when it was sunny out and not 53 degrees? And my answer is, anybody can crastinate, but I promise you that I am a pro crastinator. Okay, I'm under the trailer putting in the, the slinky. It's not so bad under here, you know? If Celine's feet get too cold tonight, maybe I'll just come sleep under here. Okay, so the sewer hose support called the slinky is in place now. Cue everybody in the comment section telling me I did it wrong. Go ahead, now's the time. And uh, next is onto the heated water hose. Okay, let me give you a quick tour of the water hose. First, we've got this electrical cable that's got a sensor. That turns on this heating element once it gets to a certain temperature, I guess. And then that heating element runs the whole way down the hose so that when we connect it to the trailer, the heating element keeps it from freezing. Okay, so... Uh, Water hose there, heated all the way up. And now we're going to cover that so that winter and stuff. Okay, now the hose is hooked up. We're gonna come in here and make sure that we've got water pressure. Looks good to me. Okay, here's our secret weapon. Is this cable here. And we're able to jam through the slide, go over here because our post runs 30 amp as well as 15. Let me show you what's inside. Inside, we've got a magical thing called a space heater. But the cool thing is, instead of running that off of our trailer power, we can run it directly off the post by sticking that cable through the slide. So now we still have 30 amps for the trailer and power to run a space heater. Okay, so now it's important to understand our winterization process inside. First thing, check the furnace. Yep, it seems to be working and it's blowing hot air. Also, winterization requires slippers and extra blankets. Yep. And uh, long sleeve shirts. Got one. And uh, hot chocolate, tea, coffee, warm water, bean bags, and extra blankets on the bed. 